Remember this family? This is the father Yarden Bibas being brutally kidnapped on October 7th. And this is a professional media worker. He is freely documenting the violent abduction of Yarden Bibas into Gaza on October 7th. Let's dive into what this means about Hamas and Gaza journalists. First, major international news organizations claimed that these photojournalists were risking their lives to tell the story. But that's not what we're seeing. The cameraman and whoever is filming him are not facing any threat from the terrorists. Second, these so-called journalists hope to profit from distributing the barbaric footage. They are there not only to document Yarden suffering, but to exploit it. And the world's top news agencies still offer similar images for sale. Third, this is exactly what Hamas wanted to achieve on October 7th, the distribution of its atrocities. As honest reporting exposed, Gazan photographers infiltrated into Israel with Hamas to do exactly that. One of them was Hassan Islaya, who worked for CNN and AP. He had been photographed with none other than Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. Another photographer was Muhammad Faik Abu Mustafa, who worked for Reuters. He called on Gazans to infiltrate into Israel after he documented the lynching of an Israeli soldier. And AP photographer Ali Mahmoud was ready just in time to capture the kidnapping of the half-naked body of Shani Luke into Gaza. He later won a prestigious award with this photo. The video showing the abduction of Yarden Bibas is only one example out of many. Bottom line, Gazan journalists were there to document, distribute, and profit off of Israel's trauma. Their work is tainted. It's been achieved thanks to the passive or active approval of Hamas on the backs of innocent people like Yarden Bibas and his family.